The Linden Commission of Inquiry wrapped up its hearings today as the attorneys representing the interested parties made their final pitch to the five commissioners. Attorney representing the police, Peter Yu, in his submission, told the commission that from the evidence, the persons killed were not killed by bullets that were issued by the police force. Yu said had the organizers and leaders of the protest acted responsibly and got the persons to remove from the bridge, what took place at Linden on July 18th would have never taken place all i am submitting is that had the leaders and the organizers of the protest march conformed to the permissions granted then this entire exercise would not have been necessary it is my view that there is no evidence to support that the three persons who were shot were shot by ranks of the Guyana police force on the bridge. With regard to the injured, you said since ballistics tests were not done and pellets retrieved from those injured, it is not known who shot them either. Commissioner K.D. Knight had some concerns about that logic. I mean, I have seen, as you have, several small objects that do appear to be pellets, but up to now, I do not know what particular size that was. So I cannot say with any certainty that it came from police fire. Even in circumstances where the police admit that they fired the shotgun containing cartridges with pellets, there they admit to that in the absence of any evidence that anyone saw anybody other than the police armed with firearms that day and firing. Is it at all possible to find that those persons who were injured were injured other than by shots discharged by the police? And in her summation, attorney representing the interests of the persons who suffered losses and damage to property, Lakshmi Muhammad, said she believes the organizers of the protest are liable. The commissioners also had some hesitation following that line. Members of the commission, it is my respectful contention that the organizers of this particular march must in some way bear some brunt of the responsibility and the liability as it relates to the interests of my clients. In relation to the destruction of the buildings, is there any evidence that the organizers of the march mandated these persons to burn the buildings or is it that a few protesters acted on their own accord? But when I was saying that the organizers are ultimately responsible, I was going along the line of vicarious liability because I do believe that they owed a duty to their protesters to ensure that they would have followed the law. What about the evidence which we heard that prior to the march, the police had information that the march would not be as was said a peaceful one nevertheless the march was allowed to take place in those circumstances wouldn't the government be liable for capital news gordon mosley